storyteller says, let's leave that. It's fine. What we need to do is actually measure this in a lab. Mm -hmm. Quantum mechanics isn't about big instruments in the CERN and Switzerland. We don't have that. We have limited funding in a <laughs> physics lab. Okay, How are you going to do this? And without brain imaging, no MRI, this is, this is a new science protocol. Mm -hmm. This was very, very courageous and very, very unique, honestly. And when I saw this first time, I have to say I was very skeptical. But when I went into Tiller's labs and really sat with this material, it was an aha that, oh, my God, this works. This absolutely works. So the first thing is your intention. Mm -hmm. Your intention is invisible. It is something you hold in your heart and your mind, mm -hmm. but it is an invisible. Intention is a process of creation. So in Teller's world, as a mathematician and a physicist, he rendered his uh, intention on, on paper. He wrote it out. He wrote it out. So mm -hmm. the first thing I want to tell all of your followers, Carol, is you want something? Write it out. Mm -hmm. I want to win the lottery. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, but anyway, everyone to their own. So Tiller said, okay, he's a material scientist. He understands materials. How can he, he chose water to test his intention. Water is very familiar to us and water is intrinsic to life, right? And water is neutral in pH. He knew that the water pH is related to hydrogen ions, okay? It's a physical thing, a physical term that he used. And then he wrote it out. We'll come to that in a moment, but Notice in this cartoon what he wrote at the bottom. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I didn't understand the importance, the sheer beauty of the Tiller Protocol until I wrote Bridging Science and Spirit. And then it hit me so hard when my editor pointed it out. Mm -hmm. My editor said, thy will be done. That's the Lord's Prayer, Nisha. Right. I did not know that. <laughs> I mean, I used to see Tiller Wright. He'd say, Nisha, I've got this intention statement for, uh, you know, autistic children. And he had one for my patient uh, to heal this patient with arthritis. And he would always end it with, thy will be done. And I thought it was very nice and very poetic. And it's all nice. Mm -hmm. And when I wrote the book and then I read the Lord's Prayer, one really realizes what Tiller was doing, mm -hmm. that even in this action of invisible, intervisible, physical thing, in this creation process, he gave it to God. Mm -hmm. Show me the truth of my intention. Show me the truth of my lab protocol, not the protocol of some Stanford or some editor journal, or some funding agency, he gave it to God. Mm -hmm. Thy will be done, not the editor's will or the funding agency. <laughs> and you know, this, this came later to me. And this is how science and all of our spiritual growth is. There are periods of almost like static. Am I growing really? What am I doing? What am I doing? You know, it's all nice. I thought I was doing lots of science, but the growth was happening. Mm -hmm. And in an instant, when that editor said, it's the Lord's Prayer. And I went to the Lord's Prayer and I was, I remember that day. I literally sat in silence because it came like a force mm -hmm. that what Tiller had done was to give even this creative, this pro science protocol in the service of thee, O oh Lord, show me. And so I encourage everyone, whether you want something, you want to be made happy or your health, thy will be done. Ask to be shown the truth in your particular situation. Mm -hmm. So this is a very, very beautiful, and, and there's no separation of science and spirit. There's H2 molecules, H2O molecules, your hydrogen ions, <laughs> and 
He's written thy will be done. Right. No separation in science and spirit in the tiller world. And that's how it should be. Mm -hmm. That's how it should be. So the intention statement for water, it's a little longer than this, but he literally wrote it like a physics statement. Increase or decrease the hydrogen ion concentration by a factor of 10, which is a whole pH up or down. Okay. Thy will be done. Okay, literally. And then he would sign his name and he would date it. And then he would come back to it quite a few times to revise it. Does it feel right? Does it feel right? He would tweak it a bit here, tweak it a bit there, but always to the extent that it felt right in his heart. Mm -hmm. And how do you know when something feels right in your heart? It's a very good question. This is a very good question. How do you know completion? How do you know that your creation is complete? Mm -hmm. And it's a good practice to ask that question. And Tiller said, I feel peace. Mm -hmm. There's a feeling inside of a certain settling, which he calls peace. Right. All right. So whenever you have a fork in the road and an unsettling, once you choose a pathway and you choose your creative process and you're wondering, is this correct? If it brings you peace, my friend, you're on the right track. Okay. Because you know, it's, so it's your higher self. It's mm -hmm. so interesting in dowsing. It's one of the main things because you have to ask the right question and you have mm -hmm. to write it out and have all the parameters because your dowsing will only be as good as the intention that you wrote. Yeah. The motivation uh, guides the outcome. You're right. Mm -hmm.